ceiling tile! This, um, ceiling tile, you, uh, you broke it. Sorry, I'll get it fixed later. I know you can be tough, but you're not violent by nature, Arlen. <laughs> Quite the opposite. Breaking a ceiling tile like this shows how much pressure and anger you were carrying around. Uh, <laughs> this interpretation is sounding a little odd. Do we have any other evidence? This footprint! I bought these shoes for you. I remember the size and the design. This is undoubtedly your footprint. But I can tell a lot from the details. Such as, um, you, you used a lot of force. You had a lot of pressure, so you stomped really hard. Oh, she can't even make things up anymore. You have more evidence, right? Your ID pass! This isn't just any old station pass, is it? Huh? There's a very important photo on it. A photo of Peppy! Lady Asta, I like Peppy a lot, so I, uh... No, no, Arlen! You don't need to find excuses for your actions. Oh, maybe you've actually convinced yourself. The combination of your simulated conversations with Capote and the entry in your work log about playing hollow disc with Peppy. It points to one thing. Me getting you to look after Peppy is the greatest source of your stress. You, you even printed out a photo of Peppy to constantly remind yourself to look after him. I know exactly what message you're trying to drill into yourself by sticking this photo onto your pass. Arlen, taking Peppy out to play is an assignment from lead researcher Asta. You better throw that hollow disc like it's a full-on discus if you spare any effort. Lady Asta will find out and punish you terribly for all eternity. M my lady, don't you think that's a long thought to think? Lady Asta, please! I didn't do any of these trials because of you. I always try to complete every assignment you give me, regardless of whether it's within my job description. I really like taking Peppy out to play. Asta, I don't think Arlan is upset with you. Arlen doesn't have any other bosses. Who else would it be? March, he asked to accompany you so he could learn how to manage his stress, right? What? Arlen wanted to go on assignments just to experience stress? Phew. Good thing I let him go alone. My calming influence would have ruined his training. <laughs> Guess I made the right decision after all. What did he say? That I'm good at solving people's problems? Oh, Arlen, all I want you to understand is how sincerely I'm reflecting on my actions. Please, accept my apology. But, my lady... Stop! Arlen, I understood the level of stress you're dealing with as soon as I saw this photo. Didn't I take that photo? I'm always giving you tasks and assignments, but I never actually see how you take to the battlefield. When I saw this photo, when I saw you fighting alone just now, I'm just sorry that I gave you the stress of all my private affairs on top of an already stressful job. Please, forgive me, Arlen. Ugh. My lady, I... I'm very touched, but... I started this trial because of Madame Herta. What? When 
whenever she's back on the space station. Madame Herta assigns me things outside the security department, Raymond. <sighs> Even if I dare to refuse, I wouldn't know how. She's just too overbearing. Whether it's helping her test some new specimen, or looking for ancient documents I've never even heard of. Assignments like those were okay before the invasion. But now, I need to focus on clearing out any last traces of the Legion. Aha! So you're trying to learn how to reject Herta and then put it into practice. Yes. I found an anonymous handwritten journal while I was cleaning up. It mentioned 36 different strategies for relieving pressure. That's where I read about the trials. Yes. There were detailed notes, so I wanted to give them a try. I'm sorry, my lady. I didn't want to bother anyone, so I didn't mention it. So, you don't feel pressured around me? I've never felt pressured around you, my lady. All right, all right. It's all a misunderstanding. You two should reflect on your actions. Right? Yeah. See, the two of us would never have misunderstandings like this. Uh, you keep saying that. What did Don Hong even say? Thank you for helping Lady Asta. And for coming to find me. You're welcome. Although if you really want to thank me, let me play Hollow Disc with Peppy, please. Trailblazers, your blessing! Give 
with these trailblazers your blessing. <laughs> Cute! Eliminating front. Who will it be?
Don't worry, Mr. Svarog. We'll be safe here. <laughs> 